Hello everyone, welcome to another videos for MRCS exam. These videos are dedicated for the MRCS examiner and to prepare yourself for MRCS exam and pass the MRCS exam. So here the question, first of all, read the question very carefully. Here the question, which of the following relationship description regarding the Escalenis muscle uh, is incorrect? So from this question, uh, the key points here, which of the following relationship in case of Escalenis muscle are incorrect? So here we have to find out first of all about the Escalenius muscles and then the details in some information about the Escalenius muscle and their relationship and finally well, it will be very easy for us to find out the incorrect options. So here are the options regarding the questions. The brachial plexus passes anterior to the medial Escalenius muscles. The phrenic nerve lies anterior to the anterior escalenic muscle. The subclavian artery passes posterior to the middle escalenic. Then subclavian vein lies anterior to the anterior escalenic muscle at the level of the first rib and the anterior escalenic inserted into the first rib. So we have to find out one of the options out of these five which is compatible with the answer of the question. So let's see first of all the Escalenius muscles. We know that the, there are three muscles of Escalenius muscle. So here we can see first of all this is the first rib and second rib and here the vertebral column from the vertebral column anterior Escalenius arises and it inserted into the first rib. On the other hand, we can see here the middle escalene. The middle escalene arises from the vertebra and inserted into the first rib behind the anterior escalene. And last of all, we can see here is the posterior escalene muscle. The posterior escalene muscle, it also arises from the vertebral column and insert it into the second rib. So here the difference of the posterior scalene muscle from the anterior and middle scalene because anterior and posterior scalene they are inserted into the first rib. On the other hand the posterior scalene it inserted into the second rib. So anterior middle scalene they inserted into the first rib and the posterior scalene it inserted into the second rib. In the second picture we also key uh, can see the scalene muscles here. Here, first of all, this is anterior scalene, and here the middle scalene. And we can see there is a gap between the anterior scalene muscle and the posterior scalene muscle. And we also can see there is another gap between the posterior scalene, uh, middle scalene, and posterior scalene muscles. And here we can see the posterior scalene is differs from the anterior and middle scalene because the posterior scalene muscle it inserted into the second rib, but anterior and middle scalene they inserted into the first rib. So in this picture, this picture is very very important for answering this question. Here, from the picture we can see the muscles here. It is the anterior scalene muscle, and here is the middle scalene muscle so anterior and middle scalene muscle there is a gap and through this gap we can see two important structure passes one is artery another is nerve so the artery this artery name of this artery is subclavian artery so the artery which passes the behind the anterior scalene and anterior to the middle scalene this artery is the subclavian artery and we can see another nerve present just be behind the artery and this nerve is the brachial plexus so to remember we can uh, remember by this this there there is a window between the anterior and middle scalene and through this window a artery and nerve passes and the name of the artery is subclavian artery and the nerve is brachial plexus and we also can see here the in front of anterior scalene there is a structure which is vein and this vein is the subclavian vein so these three structure and these two muscles in this picture relation it is very very important it will 
solve a lot of question because a lot of question arises from here so first of all we can see there is vein vein lies outside the muscles and the artery and nerve they lies inside or between the two muscles this is the anterior scalene and medial scalene so this relation it will have to be read very carefully and remember very carefully because from this point a lot of question arises in MRCS exam and it is a frequent repetitive question and easy marks possible to carry now in the second picture in this picture we can see there is the anterior scalene muscle and behind the anterior scalene muscle this artery this is the subclavian artery and we can see the in front of anterior scalene there is nerve this nerve is the phrenic nerve and this relation is also important because the phrenic nerve we can see here the phrenic nerve it uh, primarily in the lateral side of the anterior scalene then it comes forward in in front of the anterior scalene and finally it reaches the medial side of the anterior scalene muscle and it descends down behind the subclavian vein behind the clavicle and behind the first tip so the anti the phrenic nerve the phrenic nerve it passes in front of this anterior scalene muscle this relation is very very important on the other hand we can see the vagus nerve it also passes anterior to the anterior scalene muscle so phrenic nerve and vagus nerve their relation in the neck in relation to the anterior scalene is very very important and this phrenic nerve uh, it passes anterior to the scalene but it passes behind the subclavian vein clavicle fast rib then in descent downward and finally reaches in the into the mediastinum and supplies the uh, diaphragm and other structure closely related to the it so this relation is very important first of all between the anterior and medial scalene in front of anterior scalene between the two scalene there is the subclavian artery and brachial plexus and in front of the anterior scalene there is the subclavian vein phrenic nerve and vagus nerve this relation is very very important for mrcs exam so here we can see uh, which is not true the brachial plexus is passes between the anterior and medial scalene it is true we can see here then in the second picture the phrenic nerve lies anterior to the anterior scalene in this picture we can see this then third subclavian artery passes posterior to the medial scalene not true because it lies anterior to the medial scalene and the subclavian lies to the anterior scalene muscle at the level of the first rib it is true in this picture we can see here it, this is the subclavian vein which lies anterior to the anterior scalene and finally final option the anterior scalene inserted into the first rib we saw here the anterior scalene inserted into first rib medial scalene is also inserted into the first rib but the posterior scalene it differs from all other scalene that inserted into the second rib so our final answer the subclavian artery passes the posterior part of the middle scalene it is false because subclavian artery it passes not posterior it passes anterior to the middle scalene thank you all